Intel's decline has been dramatic, with the tech giant's revenue collapsing from $79 billion in 2021 to approximately $53 billion in 2024 company stock has experienced a catastrophic decline, dropping 85% from its 2020 high. In 2024 alone, shares lost 60% of their value, marking the worst year on record for the chipmaker. Most recently, following disappointing Q2 2025 results, Intel's stock plunged another 9%. Once a dominant force in the semiconductor industry, the company now struggles with shrinking relevance in its core CPU market. Furthermore, Intel has implemented significant workforce reductions, trimming 17% of its headcount in 2023 and 2024, with another 5,000 layoffs announced recently. In this video, we will explore the key reasons behind Intel's decline. Intel's inability to capitalize on emerging technology trends has perhaps been its most costly strategic failure. In contrast to companies like NVIDIA, whose value soared past $3 trillion on AI chip demand, Intel failed to develop competitive AI accelerators despite having acquired Nirvana Systems in 2016 and Habana Labs in 2019. The company similarly missed the mobile revolution abandoning its smartphone chip business in 2016 after failing to compete effectively with ARM-based designs from Qualcomm. This decision effectively surrendered the entire mobile processor market, now worth hundreds of billions annually. Its discrete GPU efforts arrived years behind schedule and failed to challenge established players like Nvidia and AMD. Most notably, Intel missed the shift toward accelerated computing in data centers where GPUs and specialized processors now handle workloads, traditionally dominated by Intel's CPUs. At the core of Intel's strategy to regain industry leadership lies a bold manufacturing gamble. Former CEO Pat Gelsinger announced IDM 2.0 in March 2021 represents a major evolution of Intel's integrated device manufacturing model. This three-pronged approach combines internal factory production expanded use of third-party foundries, and offering manufacturing services to external customers through Intel Foundry Services. The strategy involved a massive $20 billion investment in new Arizona fabs, creating over 3,000 permanent high-tech jobs. Essentially, IDM 2.0 aimed to position Intel as both a manufacturer of its own chips and a supplier for external customers like Qualcomm. Intel's manufacturing roadmap centers on its five nodes in four years strategy, with the 18A process scheduled for manufacturing readiness in late 2025. However, execution challenges persist. Recently, new CEO Lip Bhutan began considering deprioritizing 18A for foundry customers in favor of the next generation 14A node. This potential shift indicates ongoing difficulties in meeting development milestones and attracting external customers. Competition has eroded Intel's once dominant position across multiple segments, with rivals gaining momentum as the chip giant struggles. From an 80% share in client and server CPUs in 2015, Intel's position has plummeted to approximately 60% by 2024. The competitive landscape has shifted dramatically, with Nvidia achieving more than double the revenue of Intel and AMD combined in Q1 2025 at $44.1 billion. Moreover, AMD has steadily gained ground with 36% year-over-year revenue growth, while Intel suffered an 11.1% sequential decline and a net loss of $800 million. Qualcomm has aggressively entered the PC market with its Snapdragon processors, claiming 10% of US Windows PC retail sales above $800. This expansion represents a significant threat as Qualcomm predicts capturing 50% of the Windows PC market by 2029. Certainly, ARM-based computers offer advantages in efficiency with some Snapdragon laptops exceeding 15 hours of battery life. 
accelerated computing servers for AI applications typically require just one CPU for eight or more GPUs, fundamentally altering data center architectures. As GPU makers play larger roles in server design, they increasingly replace Intel CPUs with ARM alternatives. A significant factor in Intel's revenue collapse has been the post-pandemic PC market contraction. During the height of COVID-19, remote work drove exceptional demand for computers, creating an artificial sales bubble. As this demand normalized, Intel's PC processor sales collapsed severely. Intel's financial trajectory has been decidedly negative since reaching its revenue peak. After hitting $79 billion in 2021, the company saw its revenue plummet to approximately $53 billion by 2024, a staggering 33% decrease in just three years. This dramatic downturn reflects deeper structural problems beyond temporary market fluctuations. Quarterly results highlight this troubling pattern. In the second quarter of 2024, Intel reported revenue of just $12.8 billion. This marked the seventh consecutive quarter of year-over-year -year revenue decline, indicating a persistent downward trend rather than a temporary setback. Intel's stock has experienced a catastrophic decline, dropping 85% from its 2020 high. In 2024 alone, Shares lost 60% of their value, marking the worst year on record for the chipmaker. Most recently, following disappointing Q2 2025 results, Intel's stock plunged another 9%. This performance stands in stark contrast to competitors like Nvidia and AMD, whose stocks have gained 30% and 34%, respectively, over the same period. The company's P.E. ratio reached 133.80, in June 2024, before collapsing to 0.00 in subsequent quarters due to negative earnings. Intel's Q2 2025 results revealed a staggering net loss of $2.9 billion, widening by 81% from $1.61 billion in the year-ago period. Subsequently, 18 of 19 analysts tracking Intel rated the stock as either hold or sell with only a single buy recommendation. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Hit the subscribe button and like this video for more such content.